I hope you had as much fun as we did this week. Our closing imagination station is a power band. This one has a couple of steps. So first, we're gonna need our string and the little package of beads from your box, some tape, and some scissors. So, if you need to, go ahead and pause. Like I said, there's a couple of steps, but right now, let's just jump right in. So you're first gonna grab the string and you're gonna tie it into a knot. I would do it twice, just so that way it doesn't come undone. You wanna get a piece of tape? Yeah. And you're only gonna do it at one end on the string. Then you're gonna grab a piece of tape and tape it to a hard surface, like the floor, a table, or anything that just won't move when you're working on it. Now, you will string the beads on. You wanna start stringing them on? You can, or, but make sure to include the little cross piece that you have. As it reminds us that Jesus' power helps us do things as we learned this week. And if you just want to do the wood pieces, you can just do the wood pieces. If you just want to do the coal, that is completely fine. This is yours, so make it as unique as you want to. I'll just do the wood. She's just going to do the wood, so she's just stringing it through. So you're going to put the string through the little hole on the bead. Yeah. One, two, three, and then. And then two, three, two, and then wait, no, the the cross, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. She has the system. I have. <laughs> she has three wood pieces, a cross, and then she's gonna probably put the last three pieces. Found it. Oh, she dropped it on the ground. I found it. Oh, oh no! <laughs> the cross, the very important part. And we lost it. So we're going to try that again. And it may happen a couple of times. Yeah, because it just fell. Oh my God. Okay. Let's find this is another piece. I got all the pieces. Oh, no, don't fall off again. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Go in the swing. You need three pieces to then, so then it's even. Yeah. Okay. So you want to put that one through? Yeah, you got to have three pieces to make it even. Okay. Okay. Just Come on! Okay, I see it. I see the little. So you guys can definitely work through this as we're working through it because, as you can see, it's not gonna be easy. It's not easy. Okay, it's not gonna be easy. So if you just work through it with us, you know, you might get it done quicker. You might not. And now the cross, most important part ever. It is the most important part. Yeah, cause the cross. What does the cross remind us again? Jesus. And that, die for our, for our sins. Yep, and that we get our power from him, right? Yeah. Because that's what we learned this week. One. And then two more. Don't fall again. Okay. Oh, we almost got it. Yeah. And if you're two done, more. you can fast forward through the video because you did it easier than we did. <laughs> Feel free to. Mm. Of course, the last one has to be difficult, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, finally. Okay. Done. Now we're all done with our bracelet. So we're gonna slide it out from underneath and that's what it'll look like unless you have more pieces. You're gonna need someone's help with this part because you're going to take it. And you're gonna put it around. I need your wrist. I'm gonna put it around the wrist and you're gonna see where you can tie it so that way it fits. And then you'll tie it. Why do we need a knot? Oh yeah, that's why we need a knot. To tie it, then if you have any extra string, you use your scissors that you grabbed earlier, cut it off, and look at you have a power band. You want to show them? And you can <laughs> always move the pieces around so that way it's all throughout. <laughs> the cross in the middle, of course. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So now each time you wear it, it will remind you that Jesus' power helps us to do things. Have a great rest of your summer.